Van Gundy. Mike Brink. Right there at half. Another close game, but certain things have to change in this second half for them to get the win. Well, sometimes you've got to have a team that can win in many different ways. And right now, the way to win this game is to do it defensively, getting multiple stops in a row. Chalmers against Felton. With the left hand, and New York's called for the foul. Their first team foul. And he'll head to the line for the first time tonight. Man, I thought that was going to be an end one. Good strength just whipped out. And Mario Chalmers with five points. Right back. To Anthony. Bargnani. To the basket. Oh, pretty pass and an easy two. I like that he didn't go for style points. Just nice, easy layup at the basket. Let's face it, patience is not at a high premium in the NBA with fans, with management. So it's pretty much you better produce now or you're in trouble. Eric Spolster was a guy when LeBron James first came over, there was talk that whole first season. This guy's not going to be able to handle this team. They should replace him. They should fire him. And now look, now he's won two championships, three straight finals. And without question, he's shown he's one of the premier coaches in all of basketball. Yeah, and, and listen, the coach has already knew how good he was in this league. And I think the players that he coached knew how good he was. But this is the difference between organizations. When they didn't get the result they wanted against Dallas in the playoffs, lesser organizations would have come out and with sources close to the organization saying they were disappointed in their coach or outright blaming him by firing him. This is why Miami, led by Mickey Harrison and Pat Riley, are so good. They stay the course. They weren't firing Eric Spolstra. If he had lost him next year, they weren't firing Eric Spolstra. They knew what they had. They knew how good he was. They weren't going to be dictated to by the media and by a fan base. They knew what he had. Chalmers bringing it up here. Haslam. To Felton. To Anthony. Oh, that was sweet. Chalmers brings it across. To James. Oh, nice fadeaway. Knocks down the shot. Miami up by three. He got a hand in his face, but had no impact on the shot. Nice two-point jumper. Anthony. Goes to the fadeaway. And J.R. Smith with a nice shot for two. Hey, give that guy credit. He made a big-time shot against big-time defense. Chalmers from downtown. No one near him. James fires, gets it to go. Miami shooting 55% from the field. Hey, kids at home, you need to study this man's body control and poise as he finished that shot in the paint. To Felton. Anthony for two, off balance. Trying isn't enough. You've got to close and get there and then finish it off by contesting the shot. Felton, Anthony, 
to Felton. Anthony. He puts it up. Not able to hit. Even great shooters are distracted by a great closeout and a hard contest. Out of bounds. Looks like we have shuffling going on. And it's stolen by Stoudemire. He is causing absolute havoc for the offensive team right now. Another steal, disrupting their offensive rhythm and flow. Wow, is he open for the shot. Bosch the rebound. Close games, second half, you've got to make these open shots if you're going to win. Way jump shot. Knocks it down, a two-pointer. And it's a five-point lead for Miami. That's a big-time shot right there. To Smith. Stoudemire pulls up for the shot, getting it done on the offensive glass. Cans the jumper. And Andrea Bargnani with six points. Ball is tipped, and they come up with it. Smith. To Stoudemire. Double team still puts it up. This guy's a great shooter. They were on him like Velcro and forced the miss. Good defense. To James. Oh, rejected by Bargnani. And Chris Bosch with the jumper. Gets it to go. To Bargnani. Smith for two. Puts it up. Three quarters complete. New York down by five.